Good morning. It's June 14th, 2013. I'm Marlena. This is Just Us. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what's going on at the Hunt Library just to let everybody know because um, no one is really reporting the truth and I've been watching this for a while and I just want to give you, based on what I've seen, what I believe is going on. Okay, the Hunt Library was um, basically given to the city of Fullerton by the Norton Simon Foundation many, many, many years ago. Um, the city never really used it the way that Norton Simon wanted it used, and it ended up um, because of um, the city of Fullerton, the way that they handled it, um, it ended up becoming a place that they just wanted to get rid of so that they could make money off of it. They didn't want to have it for a library anymore. They wanted to rent it out or sell it so that they could make money for the city. Um, they've had this plan for a while. They've been working on it. One of the ways that they devised this to happen was to overrun the Hunt Library with homeless people, allow them to stay there, and, you know, take food to them, do all of that. And then, um, so anybody that would walk up on the library, they would just see it overrun with homeless, so they wouldn't use the library. So they did that. Um, this has been going on, a lot of shady stuff. So just manipulating what's going on to get the library um, out of the foundation so that the city could rent it or sell it. They've gotten to that point. They allowed that to happen. Um, it's been rented to Grace Ministries. And now the homeless people that were there are told that they have to get out. They have to be out by today at 3 o'clock or they will be arrested. They've also been told um, that they are not welcome in the city. They have to get out of the city. The problem with that is there's nowhere to go. And we have a, a community of at least 80 people. There's people that are HIV positive. There's people that have cancer. There's people that have... Um, mental health issues, there's people that have um, have been battered, abused, um, just so many ranges of things. And to make them leave with, you know, 48 hours notice and there's nowhere to go um, is disturbing to me, especially because the city of Fullerton has been acting like they are helping the homeless ever since the Fullerton PD murdered Kelly Thomas. So this is the truth. They are not helping the homeless. Um, things have actually gotten worse for the homeless since Kelly has been murdered because they're being used and manipulated by so many different people. Um, all for political gain, financial gain, and no one seems to care about what's happening, really. So. I care and I have friends that care so that's why I'm going back out there today I will be there pretty much all day long as much as possible if I have to come back and you know empty my camera I'll do that um, but I'm going to be there to be a witness of what's really going on and if anybody else wants to come down please do because we need you last night we were there um, we witnessed the PD rolling up on the homeless, um, they came in uh, undercover, just stormed the campground, and started arresting people for no reason. They did this knowing that they have to be out of there tomorrow or today at 3 o'clock. They did it knowing that. So they're trying to spin these people out so that they can control them. It's really disgusting. So I do not see why we need to do this to our homeless people. Um, things are already hard enough for them. So I believe that what we need to do is give them some more time, and we all need to work together to find a solution to this because just telling them they have to get out does not do anything. And it's actually very, very, very inhumane to treat people this way because most of them are sick. And... I've been talking to the police for at least four months, five months, about what we are going to do with about this. There's no way we could let them leave sick like this and know where to go. We know it. DiCaprio knows it because I talked to him about it. They all know it. And I've been standing there willing to do what we need to do 
to make it happen um, so that everything would be all right. But for some reason, and this is my main thing that I want to get through to people, for some reason, the Fullerton PD, the city of Fullerton, um, they just have it out for the homeless. They really do. And I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's very, very disturbing that they would do this. Um, the homeless people have been rounded up. They've had um, hair samples, basically DNA samples taken from them and been documented for not even committing a crime. So how in the United States of America, when we're supposed to be going by, you know, that, that document right there that hangs in my house, it's, it's always hung in my house. How is any of this okay? This is what I'm trying to tell everyone. You better wake up. Because if you don't think it could be you next, you're so wrong. You're, you're so wrong. Um, you know, they have no problem shoving me or hurting me. They have no problem. I'll tell you that right now. So if you don't think that they'll have a problem doing that to me, doing that to people in front of us, when we're videotaping, they still do it. I mean, look what they did to Kelly. I believe today that there's a chance that there could be another situation like Kelly Thomas. Um, and when I say situation, I mean murdered, publicly executed. So they're creating a situation where the only thing that is going to result is violence. Why would they do that? I'd really like to know that because there, this could have been handled a zillion different ways and we had plenty of time. And Grace Ministries... Um, you already have our library, and now you want to, you're okay as a church, but having our homeless harassed like this? Hmm. This whole church thing is, is a little much for me. I'm, I'm pretty sick of churches that come and take tax-exempt status from our communities and then don't help our communities. Why would we do that anymore? Why don't you pay your fair share and we'll help our communities? Why don't you just do that? So anyway, anybody that um, has an idea of what we can do about this, um, wants to come down and help, uh, will be, or I know I will, I'll be at the Hunt Library today and I will, it's actually behind it at the railroad tracks. They have them, so just so you know, let me make this clear. The homeless are not on the library property. They are behind it right off of the railroad tracks. Nobody can even see them, so I don't exactly know what the big deal about all this is, but I'm just letting you know. So I'll be sending more information throughout the day. I hope that... Um, whoever decides to watch this makes phone calls to um, Dan Hughes, the chief of police of Fullerton Police Department. Um, I would also call Sean Nelson, the um, Orange County supervisor. He actually lives in Fullerton and he represents this area. Uh, Sharon Quirk Silva, she lives in Fullerton too. She represents this area as a assembly person wherever she moved up to. Um, Bruce Whitaker, he's the mayor of Fullerton. Might want to give him a call. Uh, Greg Seaborn. Um, also, uh, uh, Jenny, Jenny from the block. Jenna, uh, Jennifer Fitzgerald. Jan Flory, you can give them a call. Um, Doug Chafee. These are all council members. Coast to Coast. The charity that was, well, the foundation that has been feeding the homeless the whole time down there. Um, where are you? Yeah. Um, what about Fullerton Collaborative? Hmm? Pam Keller, where are you at? The people that get paid to make it seem like they're doing something. Um, could you actually do something or could you just surrender those jobs, please? Because it's just too much already. We understand what you're doing and it's, it's really gross. Today, we want more time to find a proper place for these sick people to go. We would like 30 days at least to figure out what we're doing. 
it's not too much to ask for. Justice for Kelly Thomas, justice for us all.